What is going on YouTube? And today, up in front of the camera, I have a Census Icon Smart Meter. This is not a Smart Meter yet because it does not have any of the chips for communication in it yet. It's just kind of the stock model, I guess you could say. Um, these meters have, well, the company that I uh, source my meters from uh, discontinued selling these and uh, the power company I live in, uh, Pico Energy, they also recalled all their meters. They had census meters uh, because of fires. Uh, these are not really made well at all. Um, I'll show you the front of it. It's a very basic design. Very cheap also. You can see the uh, press molding from the uh, cover. Um, you can see it just, they did the same kind of press mold on the inside. I don't know how you're going to be able to see it. But, uh, really bad injection molding. And the same's on the back. The ugly broken off injection mold there. But line and linear load. Potential disconnect and you have a hanger. If you're going to hang this for testing or whatever. And as you can see it's just cheap too. It's not too good on the back. And let me just compare this to a competitor meter, an iTron C1SD. As you can see on the front, this one here definitely has a lot more quality put into it as the one on the left. And let me get a GE I210 meter. As you can also see, this one's a little dusty, it's resting on my shelf. As you can see, just this one's very cheap. On the back, you can see the quality follows through. While this one has that ugly ass uh, injection mold point, this one has like a cleaned up one right there. And it actually has a hook that locks into place. Other than that one just kind of slapped on there. And the back of the iTron meter has a barcode and then uh, this one's still a little bit better with the injection molding. Not, not as bad as this one. This one's also a lot more heavier than the census meter. Just a general overview, it's not too not too good looking, I must say. Let me pull this back and plug it into a socket. Let me just power it up real quick just to show you what it looks like while it's operating. And it doesn't really do anything exciting. And there's a test port LED and then the reset button. It doesn't have a demand or anything, it just uh Basic kilowatt hours. And let's crack this open. I want to look inside and see what's been causing those uh, notorious fires. That's why uh, Pico Energy, uh, they used to have them. They uh, kept the infrastructure like the uh, wireless systems, but now they have Landis and gear meters. I'm not a fan of those either, they're really cheap, but off comes the globe. Basic inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But when you push that button and it kind of deforms the LED or the L C D screen because of how cheap it's just put on there. But these are press fits here.
doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, now with the technical difficulty out of the way, as you can see on the inside, it's uh, not too impressive either. I guess I could bring it right up to the camera. Screen, reset button, it just shorts those two terminals out. There's the test LED. A nice microprocessor, I must say. Yeah, pretty nice. But, uh, Invensys icon. I don't know what Invensys means, but whatever. Some barcodage. And this is where the fires are been happening. Two hundred amps flowing through that little section right there. Not good. And as you can see, it's just the the cheapness is just amazing on this meter. These are the terminals right here. It's like they took a pressed steel piece and just bent down two prongs to stick through the base of the meter and then ran it here and I have I'm not a circuitry guy, I don't really study any kind of low voltage but I have no idea how they'd measure power like that on the circuit board and the other side does it the same but it's on the bottom of the board but 200 amps of power would be flung through that little there's a circle right there and then it would just be going through us two contacts or not contacts like the bus bar and uh, I'm pretty sure this uh, printed circuit board likes to burst in the flames and that would be the end of that has some various stats or varistors I should say uh, capacitor some more resistors and another capacitor. That's about it. You can see where the smart boards would clip into. Right there. Right there. Another one up there. And there's really nothing much to this meter. Surprising, but that is why they've been catching fire. It's just a real cheap design. I could reassemble it real quick. Get a seal. And she's good as new. But that's about it for this meter.